Hey guys, Coach Jason here. Um, hope you're having a good day. So, the last video I put out was workouts for 800 meters um, and 1500, 1600 mile slash workouts. Now that we're transitioning from cross country to track, um, I want to share some workouts that I've used with my athletes uh, over the past you know 20 years as a coach, and um, hopefully you'll find some insight. So my last video was 800 and 1500 mile. This one's going to be 3K slash 2 mile and 5K workouts. And I have it broken down by early season, mid season, and late season. Three to four workout options for each one. Okay. Hopefully you'll find something that's helpful here. Um, if you're new to this channel, this is your first time you know, watching this, please click the like button and please click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. Now, if you're a coach or an athlete and interested in getting more details about training and, and running and staying healthy, and um, this channel's for you. Okay, so definitely click that subscribe button. And if you have a channel of your own, please cl uh, click the subscribe button and then let me know what you did in the comments uh, so that I can give a shout out to your, to your channel to make sure that people know about you and your channel as well. I mean, my goal is to serve as many people in the running community as possible. As a former competitive runner and a coach of the last 20 years um, up at the high school, collegiate, and post-collegiate level, I want to give back um, to the sport that has given so much to me. I'm also a USATF certified coach and a Wharton certified musculoskeletal uh, and flexibility therapist. So my goal is not only to help you running fast, to run faster, but it's to keep you healthy while you do it. Okay, so with that said, let's get into some details about your 3K workouts, my, uh, uh, 5K workouts, and so on that you might find uh, useful. All right, let's put this down and let's get to the details, huh? All right, so put this up a little bit. Here we go. So let's start with the 3K slash 3200 slash 2 miles. So this is great for high school, college, post college. Uh, here are some workout options. The first one, early season first. 10 by 600 meter efforts at threshold pace with a one minute recovery. How do you know what the threshold pace is? Well, take a look at my other videos. I have videos on uh, how to set the appropriate training paces based on current fitness. If you do a one mile time trial or have a different race or a time trial uh, to back it up, I have a video on how to, how to set the right uh, training paces for workouts, runs, thresholds, everything. I also have a workout, uh, a video on one mile time trial. I'll put in both of them in the description below. The one mile time trial will give you an idea of where your abilities or fitnesses for the 3K and 5K as well as 800 meters and uh, 400 meters. And it'll tell you any adjustments that you might need to make based on what the mile time trial tells you. It's very informative. So if you're going to watch any of those videos, Watch them from beginning to end. Don't just watch the first minute and the last minute. You'll miss a lot of important details because I explain everything, okay, from beginning to end. All right? So let's get back to this. The next one is a six-mile tempo, okay, strength building, strength building early on, okay? Five-minute active recovery and then six by 400-meter efforts with a one-minute jog at 5K race pace, about current 5K race pace, okay? Just to get the legs accelerating a little faster after running a tempo, all right? 8 by 800 meter efforts is the next one with a 2 minute recovery at 5k pace, current to go. Okay, which is slower than your 3k race pace, all right? And then the last one, and this is a workout that you can do whether you're training for a mile or 800, uh, 3k or a 5k. I, t I tend to use it as a staple, but I put it here and here for a reason. 6 by 400 meter efforts with a 3 minute active recovery at sub mile race pace, okay? Um, faster than the mile race pace, your equivalent mile based on where you're currently at for the 3K or where, where you're at currently for the mile based on a one mile time trial or one mile race, okay? You want to have the speed of a miler and an 800 meter runner or and the, and the strength of a 5K, 10K runner if you want to run a good t uh, 3K or 2 mile. So that's what this workout does. It helps practice acceleratory running at a much faster pace because some of these 3k races will turn into miles or 800 meters at the end so being able to respond to any types of moves is going to put you in a position to be that much more versatile and therefore much more dangerous as an athlete okay mid-season 8 by 600 meters okay we cut it by two reps and now we're going from progression we're progressing from threshold to 3k race pace okay over the workout Okay, with a 90 second recovery. All right, so we now up here is a minute. We've added 30 seconds to the recovery because of the progressively faster pace. The next one's a five mile tempo with a five minute recovery actively, and then six by 300 meter efforts with a 100 meter jog at 3K to mile race pace. Okay, slightly faster as it goes. Getting you turnover, turning over when you're fatigued from a tempo. Okay, 
Next one is seven by 800 meters at 5K to 3K race pace. So look at that, we cut, we cut it from eight to seven, but now we're gonna progressively faster, okay? Current 5K to current 3K race pace, okay? And the next one, two sets of 1,600, 400, okay? So it's four kilometers of total running for the whole workout, but this is how it's broken down. Okay, the 1,000 meter efforts are done at your current 3K race pace and you take a two minute, 30 seconds recovery, right? The 600 meter efforts are done at your goal 3K race pace with a 90 second or a 130 recovery. And then your 400 meter efforts are done at mile race pace, okay? And then you're gonna take a five minute recovery after that 400 meter rep and then repeat that set, okay? Okay, this is a good transitional workout now. We're starting to transition into faster stuff. Okay, and again, it's for periodization purposes. I have all detailed training programs for cross country, all events from 5K all the way up to the marathon in detail, day to day, by the week, 12 to 16 weeks. I've got uh, and a bunch of other programs on my on my channel as well. So it, it, you can take a look at them and you'll see how everything's structured. It's structured so that a collective sum of training over time allows you to be where you need to be when you need it the most at the end of the season, okay? And there's no magic workout, and I say this in all my other videos, there's no magic formula or anything like that. It's just consistent work over a period of time. And the body needs about 21 to 28 days to adapt to a training stimuli. So I have my training broken into three to four week blocks for adaptation purposes, okay? And it allows you to plug in races, and you'll see how everything's structured accordingly with the appropriate recovery periods, long runs, and everything in there, okay? It's, and how you lay out the training is very important. Now let's go to late season. We've cut it down again from 8, 8 by 600 now to 6 by 600. But now it's, we've added a recovery as well. So now it's 6 by 600 with a 2 minute recovery at 3K race pace to a slightly faster than 3K race pace. Goal. Okay. The next one is a 4 to 5 mile tempo, 5 minute active recovery, 6 by 200 meter efforts with a 30 second recovery at mile to 800 meter race pace current. Okay. Um, the next one, look at that, we cut it down again from 7 to 8, I mean to 6. So now it's 6 by 800 meters, all right? But now it's all going to be a 3K pace, but it's going to be current to goal 3K pace, all right? So we've progressed from threshold to threshold to race pace to race pace. And the last one, a repeatable workout from up here, 6 by 400 meter efforts with a 3-minute recovery at sub-mile race pace, faster than mile race pace. This is a workout that you can actually do every 3 to 4 weeks, no matter who you are. Whether you're training for 5K or a mile, this is a great workout. And if you want just a pure um, uh, anaerobic lactic workout, that's it for you. Okay, It will require a couple extra days of recovery as opposed to a threshold or a tempo, but just something to keep in mind. I would not do this 2 days before a race. Uh, I, I would personally would not do it on race week. I would do it the week of a non-race week, okay? And allow at least three recovery days in between before doing another hard workout. Now, let's get over to the 5,000. Early season, eight by 1,000 with a two-minute recovery, progressing from 10K pace to 5K pace, okay, current. Next one, seven-mile tempo, five-minute recovery, active, always an active recovery, and then six by 300-meter efforts with a 100-meter jog at 3K race pace. And the next one is a 14 by 16 by 400 meter efforts with 45 seconds recovery at current to goal 5K race pace. If your athletes are super fit, there's a chance you might be able to do that with 30 seconds. But I would not. I would only do that when your athletes are at the fittest. Okay, 45 seconds is sufficient. You'll be surprised how quickly it creeps up on you. Okay, and just thinking out, if you're running these at 75, you're basically going off every two minutes, so it's quick. All right. Next one. Two sets of three to four by 800 meter efforts. Okay, this is a good workout. Okay, um, and I transition from this into the next. The first set's gonna be at your threshold pace with a one minute recovery. Then you take six minutes in between the sets, and then the second pace, you go from 5K to 3K race pace. Okay, um, current to goal or goal to goal. <clears throat> okay, so first set's at threshold, second set's at race pace. So it's a nice transitional workout. It confuses threshold running and race pace without doing too much race pace running. Okay, mid-season, we're cutting it from 8 by uh, 1K to 7 by 1K. Okay, we're also adding 30 seconds recovery. So now it's 7 by 1,000 with a 2.30 recovery with, at 5K race pace current to goal. Okay, next one's a 6-mile tempo, so we cut it by a mile. 5-minute <clears throat> active recovery, then 6 by 200-meter efforts with 30-second recovery at mile race pace. That can be current to goal as well. 
The next one we progress from 800 meter sets to two sets of three to four by 1,000 meters now, okay? Uh, and let other races or time trials let you know whether you're ready to not only increase your training intensity, um, most importantly, but increase your training volume as well. The volume should not be in increased at the same time of training intensity. It's got to be one or the other. Training volume can be incremental over time, but training intensity, let workouts or time trials let you know when you're ready to start training at a faster pace. The last thing you want to do is be hanging on for dear life with faster people because their recovery is going to be different than yours and it's going to affect the rest of your training differently as it would theirs. So keep that in mind. Train at the appropriate training paces for you and your athletes. Okay. So this one's two sets of three to four by a thousand. The first set again is at threshold pace with a minute recovery, one minute, and then take six minutes in between the sets. And then the second set, you do a 5K race pace with a two minute recovery. Okay. And then the last one, 16 by 400 meters with a one minute recovery now at 5K race pace, essentially your goal 5K race pace. But with a caveat, the fifth rep, the 10th rep, and the 15th rep is going to be a 3K to mile race pace. So we're just going to accelerate every five reps and then get you back to lock in into 5K pace just to tr uh, practice changing paces and surging mid-race, mid-workout. Okay. And late season, six by a thousand with a three minute recovery. So we cut down the rep and add 30 seconds to the recovery at 5K to 3K race pace. And you might be able to only do the last rep at 3K race pace. That's fine. But this should be goal 5K race pace. Next one, five mile tempo, five minute active recovery. And then five by 150 meter efforts with a jog equal recovery at mile down to 800 meter race pace. Okay, turning over when you're fatigued. Okay, the next one, three sets of 1200 slash 400. Okay, the 1200 meter efforts are going to be a 5K, your goal 5K pace. You're going to take a one minute recovery and then you're going to do the 400 meter efforts at mile race pace. After the 400, you take a three minute recovery and you repeat that again. Okay, so it's a minute after the 1200, three minute after the 400, okay, times three. And then the last one, this is a good one to do about 10 days out or something to give you, let you know whether you're ready to run your goal pace um, for 5K. You do a 3K at your goal 5K race pace, about 10 days out, 14 days out, take an eight to 10 minute active recovery. And then you do about five to six by 400 meters on the back end with a one minute recovery at 3K down to mile race paces to get you turning over. Um, without sapping the legs. So, these are some workout options, okay? Let me know what you think. If you have feedback of your own, workout ideas of your own, put them in the comments down below. If you want me to put a specific uh, video out for training a whole season for the mile, a whole season for 800 or 3K or 5K, even though I have 5K plans out there that you can follow, let me know and I'll do that. Okay, I'd be more than happy to accommodate. Again, I want to give back to his you know, the running community as much as I possibly can. If you know other fellow coaches or athletes, please share this my videos with them. I want to know what they think. I, I want every I want to help as many people as possible. And I do think there's a lot of stuff in this video and my other videos that can help a lot of people. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, enjoy some good health. Train well, train smart, and I'll talk to you next time.